My name is Jacob Centeno Healy, and I am the son of Senior Chief Petty Officer Daniel Richard Healy. He had enlisted in the Navy in 1990 and decided he wanted to uh, try out for the Navy SEALs. He graduated Bud's class uh, in 1992. He was such a great dad. He uh, just showed us his care and his love and gave everything he had when he was with us. And he was passionate about being a Navy SEAL. He pulled me aside and he told me, you're the first one I want to tell, but I'm deploying. I nodded my head and I said, okay. And he knew in that moment that I understood what his duty to his nation and his team guys, I knew what it meant. A team of Navy SEALs was sent into the mountains to hunt for a militia leader, but only one SEAL came out alive. The four-man special operations team was searching for Al-Qaeda fighters in the rugged terrain of Kunar province on Tuesday. We had inserted a sniper recon element out into the field led by Lieutenant Michael Murphy, Danny Dietz, Matt Axelson, and Marcus Luttrell. Their job is to find Ahmed Shah, you know, find out how many bad guys are up there in this, in this territory, send that intel back to us, and then we'll go in there and we'll assault the target. We got a call, we got a call from Michael Murphy, and it was just a distress call. Bang, we're on the helicopter now. We get a full head count. There's two CH-47 Chinook helicopters. A whiteboard goes around with names of individuals that will be staying on the helicopter and individuals that will be getting off the helicopter at a forward operating base. So I get the whiteboard, I go, cool, I'm on. Boom, I pass it along and I, it passes one more guy and then you've got Dan Healy right there. And Dan Healy was a platoon chief. So he saw his name was off and those were his guys out in the field and they had been out in the field for a long time. He walks up to the front of the helicopter, doesn't even pass it along. He went up there and said, hey, we want to go in. You know, they're all our buddies, but they're his men. He's in charge of them, he's responsible for them. The whiteboard comes back around for a second time, and as it gets to me, I'm off. My name's off and Dan's name's on. I was just, I was upset, I was angry. I was, I was, you know, I was thinking about self. They called for help, but a Chinook helicopter loaded with reinforcements was shot down, killing all 16 troops on board. The Chinook helicopter was carrying Special Operations Unit into a rugged mountain near the border with Pakistan. And a volunteer himself, you know, making his point that, hey, these are my guys out there. He had saved my life. Now, this guy volunteered and it saved my life. I was 15 and a half when I lost my dad. I was in my room and my grandmother let out one of the biggest bloody murder screams I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm running downstairs and I uh, stepped into her doorway and she was broken. She had the phone was just sitting. She was just broken and I looked up at her she just said, your dad. I turned, I walked away. I just tried to get far away from everybody and everything, and I sat down, and I zoned out. Just did whatever I could to not think about it. Growing up, I was very unsure about my future. You know, I'd been hit hard with my dad's death, so I didn't, I didn't want to set myself up for that, you know, that hurt again. But m my dad, he always emphasized never give up and always try your best. As long as I stuck with those two things, never give up and always try your best, I was, I was gonna be fine. And that's what ultimately caught me through. I knew my dad wanted me to go to college. And then after the loss of my father, we received word from Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation that we would receive help. 
The help was like having another family behind me. The support from the staff is second to none. To have that constant interaction was really valuable in my, my development as a student. Graduating from the University of San Diego, it was one of the first times that I got to look up to my dad and say that one was for you. For my dad, his legacy, uh, for the people, the Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation that granted me the gift. I wanted to start giving back. Um, and it's because of Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation that gave me so much that really inspired me to pay it forward. The commitment to other children who have lost a parent. I'm ultimately dedicated to their healing and growth and whatever, whatever it takes. privilege, it's an honor, a responsibility to make sure that the names of these guys are carried on and their legacies are carried on. I want to thank all the donors and everyone who supports Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation for their mission to support me and all the other children like me.